Listen, listen. Oh, I. I deserve that. Hello, my favorite people. Today we'll be reacting to Mama Moo's live performance of Aya. But bitch, we're like three weeks late. <laughs> the thing about having a reaction channel is that producing content every day, when new content is also dropped by artists every single day, it's hard to manage and schedule and keep a consistent schedule with certain things. So that's why I'm so late. I'm sorry. I can't even help it at this point though. I like, I, I upload too much. I'm involved in too many fandoms, whatever. If you have any video suggestions, make sure you head over to Instagram, DM them to me over there, tweet them at me on Twitter. Subscribe if you're new here, like the video, subscribe to the second channel and follow me on Instagram. Here we go into Mama Moo, Aya, Mama Moo comeback show. Also, Queendom is finally coming through. We're finally getting the comeback show that we've wanted, Moo Moos, for like a year now. I didn't think they were actually gonna do one. And I am kind of sad that they're doing one during this pandemic. Fuck COVID, like Kwasa said. Oh, another thing, I was afraid this video was gonna get copyrighted and blocked. So I was like, favor, do you do it? Do you not do it? But it's Mama Moo, so it's worth it. Here we go. Hmm. What the fuck? Why do they have we in just like, what? Maybe they did Dinga and Aya. What is she wearing for Aya though? Huh. Monologue five, six. Mama Moe, chat comeback show monologue. 이제 마지막 무대만 남겨두고 있습니다. She. 네, 사실 저는 컴백 때마다 마음이 굉장히 무거웠어요. 저희의 연. Are those the members on her sweater? 아가 쌓일수록. 또 저희를 좋아해 주시는 분들이 많아질수록 저희에게 거는 기대도 그만큼 크다는 걸 No English subs though. 느꼈거든요. 그래서 매번 컴백 준비를 할 때마다 이번 활동은 더 멋져야 돼. 더 달라진 모습을 보여드려야 해. 하는 고민이 깊어졌어요. I love her little eye mole. 이번 앨범 역시. Dinga has a vinyl. It has to. Period. <sighs> Dinga has a vinyl. I'm buying it right now. Her fashion. I love her jeans. Aya, bitch! Ah! Okay, that was interesting. I'm not too sure what she was saying because I don't speak Korean, but. <sighs> Can we just, <sighs> I'm stressed. Mama Moo, oh my God. You guys know the first song by Mama Moo that I fell in love with was egotistic. So to kind of like get the same feeling of a song with this comeback is a lot. And now Purple Kiss is seeming like they're gonna have the same theme, which I'm reacting to after this video. So stay tuned for that. But it's just whatever emotion Aya is and egotistic, my favorite of Mama Moo for sure. And I like the retro. Look at her turtle eyes. Buell! They're in a sea of bitches. Oh my God. Come through acting. Young, what's here, Gina? Controlling them all, of course. Ah. Uh. Oh my God, they're really about to go off with this one. Like, this is like an awards show performance. Uh. 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 Let's talk about how Young sounds just like the track, the studio version, but she's singing live. Some of you bitches can never. Ayo, you got me jumping like a crazy crumble egg. Diga, Aya. Hegina. Yo, huh? He 
Chicha. I love that ending part. She really does that though in I feel like all her raps. The ending is always very like soft. Even when, what song was it from Travel Album that she was like very just hard hitting? I believe it was Diamond. And even at the end still, it was like a trail off or a softness. Like a succubus or something. Buell's a succubus. <sighs> Maria! Baby Lee, why are you on the floor? I really love this whole Taj Mahal, bohemian, Asian feeling. Ugh. Maria, I, uh, Travel really was such a great album. And unlike someone, another group who had to come back this year, I'm not naming names because I'm not starting drama, but with such a short album, they were able to make every song from the Travel album a hit, Mama Moo was. Whereas another group who released an album this year, with so little songs, how can you not make them all a bop, is what I'm trying to say, basically. Let's move on. <laughs> come on, choreo! Don't give Hwasa a dance break because if you do, bitch, she'll kill it. Oh my god. She. The thing about Hwasa though is like in her choreo, she literally just puts her all into it. Like a simple move that's just like this, she'll do this. She'll do this. When all it is is this. She'll do this. <laughs> I love how like she could just go so hard with the choreo. She gives it her all. I like the masks on the dancers. Ah. Shy, shy, shy. Okay. Ah. Ah, the choreo bitch. I like the- ooh, that was so hot. I'm sorry. I'm going back again. I don't care. Did you see the choreo though? The line and then the dancers came back up. They did it so good. I know I keep pausing. Did y'all see <laughs> Wee and Solo just back there doing nothing? That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> You got me jumping like a crazy crown, bull eggs. The crown? Ayah. Ah. This is reminding me a lot of Queendom. I really did enjoy Queendom. Back in the back in the day, like whenever it came out a year ago, I don't think I was actually like fully understood how groundbreaking that show was. If they could do another season of that, I would love it. Hegina. <laughs> Powerhouse Young. <laughs> Look how low they are. Look how low. Her vocal is just so clean. Uh, I, bitch, I sound bad, but did you hear Young? <laughs> Choreo, she's not out of breath. I, uh, play the flute, we? Uh. I love, Young is such an actress. The way she's able to evoke her, her emotions or whatever feeling of the song is 
through her facial expressions and her voice, she's that's such a talent. Badass we. Dance break. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yes! I okay, I love the entire song, but this part is it's just it's different. It hits different. It like makes you feel like you're just going crazy. Happy ending. I feel like that is, that sums up this entire song. The entire song up until this point has felt like heartbreak and just sadness. And then at this end, you have this explosion of energy and like just bright sounds and colors. So it, I feel like completely turns around the song. And again, I want to mention how they're doing all this choreo bitch, but they still have breath. They're not out of breath singing. And we know buell has been in the gym. Come on, girls. Hi. Ooh, all the dancers. Come on, choreo. Mama Moo. They've ruined K-pop for me. I can't even stand any other groups anymore. Like, like fully stand any K-pop groups because Mama Moo, the standard. I can't. <sighs> that performance was everything. The vocals were everything. Their delivery was everything. The, the, the choreo, the imagery, the emotions from the performance, the lighting, the set design, everything, every little detail was really good and sold the whole package. <sighs> Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. It's going to help out the video. Subscribe if you're new here. Subscribe to the second channel. Follow me on Instagram. And let me know your other video suggestions. Again, DM me on Instagram. Let me know what videos you want to see. Because if you don't let me know, bitch, I can't do it. All that being said, guys, bye.